Oh, welcome back to another week, guys. Let's see what we got going on here. We're playing catch up slowly, slowly getting them all done. So, the Firebird, it is all done on the passenger side, completely finished. Quarter panel is all welded on. It's got a nice gap there on the door. Done. So it got a new quarter panel. It got new front floors. It got new front seat risers. It got outer wheel tub. It got the chunk drop put in. So that's all done on that side. And come around this side. And uh, this side is getting all cut apart. You can see. Drilled all the factory. You know swap welds out don't just cut it we drill it out and do it proper now it's time to get in here and clean all this up get rid of the rust put some nice rust paint in behind where you can't get to and then after we get this done we got to do the wheel tub again the trunk drop and the quarter after that's done we're just waiting for a center section for the trunk and then it's clean it all up underneath you got to put the car up on the hoist lift it up in the air get all the welds that might have come through underneath clean those all up and then we'll do a nice uh, We'll do a nice texture spray under there. And then the owner is uh, good to go. He's going to take it back home like that for now and do a bunch of mechanical work. And uh, hopefully we see him a little bit after he's got that done. And we're going to uh, just tidy up the rest of the car for him. And that's all that's going to go on. Yeah. Oh, paint's really blistering on here. Never even noticed that before. Huh. Oh, well, not a big deal. Anything and everything can be fixed. Time and money. Time and money. Now the Corvette. The Corvette has got has been stripped completely right down except for one door. Got one door left to go. That's it. Yeah, Sean's working away. He's working. He's working on a Cadillac steering wheel today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, but yeah, there's there's the passenger side door. All body worked in. Oh yeah, we got a, uh, I forget what year it is, BMW motorcycle tank here also. Sean did all the bodywork on that, got it all ready to go, so it'll be getting painted next. Um, so he's almost, he's almost there, he's got her pretty, pretty roughed up in here. You can see it's been completely stripped. So, we're just going to fire it up now and take some of the paper away, fire it up and get the headlight doors open so he can get in there. That taken care of, and then um, side here. This truck is all done. It's going to be going in for paint here next week. Um, and I'm just staining some wood. There's the old wood right there that came out of the suburban. And the owner, he's just throwing a rubber mat in the back, but he did want some new wood in there. So I'm just. Uh, well, actually, the stain's done. There's a stain I went with, and now I'm just putting some, some clear on there, just to protect the stain. And the dash is back. The dash is back for the gull wing. And that is, where is that? That is tucked away. Derek over at Custom Creations. Look them up online, Custom Creations. If you want to see absolutely spot on, beautiful, Probably the best upholstery work out here in the lower mainland. Look up Custom Creations. Um, yeah, and there's my 409 sitting there in the corner. <laughs> uh, where did it go? It's over here. I believe it's over here. Yes, here we go. Some may like the color, some may not. But this is what the owner went with. Definitely got a contrast. I think it looks good. Right down to the factory ashtray in there. Looks beautiful. Now the problem is I have to put the dash back in that car. And trust me, it's a nightmare because there's no room. With all them bars and support rods underneath there, you just have no room to do anything. And I'm not, I'm not looking forward to doing it. So it's one of those things where I'm just taking a break at the moment. The dash just got dropped off the other day. So I'm going to wait. I am going to do it next week. But I'm going to wait until I'm, I'm in the mood. You know what I mean? Some days you got to be in the mood to do certain things. Or else it just isn't going to work for you. That's all there is to it. Yeah, and my old beast again. We're always walking in the room with this old beast. She looks pretty good. I think if, I think if John Milner was here today and 
he didn't have his 32, I, I think he'd be quite content to take this one. I'm trying to build, you know, I can't afford a 32 Ford. And I don't know if I want, I mean, let's say I do want that car. I mean, I can't say I don't want it, but part of me doesn't know if I want it either. I mean, I want to, that's something that was already done. I want to have my style. I want to build my thing. And uh, that's where I'm taking this shop right now. I'm taking this shop to the next level. Uh, you know, you all know that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not getting any younger. And my plan has always been since I was a youngster to build hot rods the way I want for myself. Um, that's why I've gathered up all these parts you see around the yard. I, I have ideas what I want to build. And I want to drive them and have fun with them. And if someone wants to buy them, they're for sale. And then build the next one. You know, much like Gene Winfield, George Barris, uh, Ed Roth, they all did that. They built crazy cars that they envisioned and liked. And then they just sell them off or get rid of them on the next one. That's That was the fun for them. And that's kind of the fun for me. Um, there are certain ones I, I don't want to get rid of, but... You know, I kind of I kind of want to do things. Where I'm going with it was the American Graffiti Coupe. There was a lot of aspects about that car I loved, but there was things I wanted to do on my own. And um, you know, I love the fact of that little that little small block Chevy. Even though I know their belly button motors are used and everything, I just love the fact of the look of it and the four carbs. And that was why I did that on here. And I loved the look of a 32 Ford Firewall, so I put the 32 Ford Firewall in. I went to the extreme to put a 32 Ford original cow vent in. Like, I liked that look. I didn't go with the same headers because I wanted these headers. Um, there's just certain things I took from that car onto this car. So to me, this is my American Graffiti car. Now, the 55 Chevy Gasser that was in the movie, I loved it too. But to me, I'm building my aspect of the 55 Chevy Gasser. If I had my American Graffiti movie. So that's what I'm doing there. And, and the chopped shoebox. You know, I didn't chop it. I can't take credit for it. Good guy did it though, Brian Bobbitt. And um, but I have a I have a vision in my mind what I want with that car. I don't want it to be wild and radical and crazy. I want it to be mild because less is always more. Um, so I have this vision in my mind. It's like I have a vision in my mind for this room we're standing in right now. What I'm doing with it. Um, and I could never do this stuff when I was younger. I couldn't do this stuff up until probably five years ago. I couldn't do this stuff. It just all of a sudden things went good and. Uh, Things got good for me, things got better, and now I'm trying to live out some of my fun doing this stuff. And where I was going with it with the business is, you know, we're, we're just, I'm slowing certain things down on the business now. I'm going to start building my shit, and that's what's going to be the, the money. Still, you know, so we, we, we'll see what happens here. Um, we'll see what happens, but I'll still be there to do videos for you guys. <laughs> so that's, that's a good thing. Um, yeah. So a bit of a mess around here because like I said, I got everything out of the way because we're going to try and work on this. So this room is going to be getting worked on next week. The plan is we're going to get the ceiling in and then we're going to get some some nasty wood like this put on the back wall, paint it black. And then I've got, oh, well, I shouldn't tell you. I won't tell you because this wood's not staying here. But I, I, I got some stuff we're going to be doing. I don't exactly know what's happening with that wall except that I'm putting my fake little fireplace on there. I do know that. So, um, yeah. You'll see what's going to go on. You'll see. It's going to take a while. I'm not going to have this. I'm not going to have this room finished off um, uh, by this summer. I will have it all finished, like like all the walls and everything finished off. You know, by May, I'll have everything going in here, like kind of. But I won't have everything hung up and set up. And that takes time. That takes years. But I've got lots of stuff I've gathered up. I mean, we got boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. I lately, I just I've gone crazy with getting stuff and. Um, you know, it's good. Yeah. Work hard in life, people. It, it will pay off. Um, I worked and I worked and I worked and I worked. And a lot of times I would get upset and I would look and I would see younger people than myself. And they're driving around in a brand new truck and a brand new boat and a brand new RV. And, you know, they got all this stuff. And I was just like, what the hell? What the hell? Why do, you know, I'm working my ass off and these guys are sitting back and all this shit. But. Then, you know, then I sit back and I look at them and you realize, you know, you, you talk to some of them sometimes and they're in debt with everything up to their ass. And uh, you got to work hard in life. I worked hard and I got no debt. My business itself doesn't even owe a dollar on a piece of sandpaper on account. It's nothing. Owing. I worked hard and now it's time to slow down. And uh, that's why you don't see me here on Mondays anymore. You don't see me here on Mondays at the moment. You see me here on a part day Friday and that's that. So working hard does pay off. 
It's worth it. Trust me. So all you guys out there that think, oh, you'll never get your car done, you will get your car done. You'll get it done. You'll get everything done you need to do. So uh, well, I'm going to go start the Corvette for Sean. This is, uh, that wood you see is going to be going in here once the stain dries up. Not today, the next day or two. And then, uh, I don't know if the next video, the next video is going to be Sunday Fun Day. But the one after that should show this truck down on the frame. So that's it, guys. I wish you all a good weekend because it's the weekend coming up here. And uh, hey, it's always a good time at old time. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And stay tuned because there'll be more.